Do you want to take the gum out or are you okay? Yeah, I was gonna, I didn't know. <clears throat> it's okay. No, I always, I always chew gum. I was doing it always on American Idol and everything. Anyway. And do they make you take it out or they? If they caught me. I like to try to make people think, and instead of just, you know, writing a hook to make it sound good, I like to make people think about the words and everything, and, uh, you know, so maybe people will, you know, figure that out about me, or maybe people will see that it's a little different than, than the other Idols uh, albums, and you're not saying in a good way, maybe it's in a bad way, if it's according to how they like it or not, <laughs> so, uh, you know, I just, I feel like it, musically and lyrically, it really represents me, I, I'm not, I'm I'm very critical. I try to be anyway. Sometimes I'm too critical when it comes to all that. My management came up to me. They said, we, we want to get the album out by November 19th. I was like, oh crap. And uh, I said, well, we got to start thinking of producers. They were like, yeah. And they, and I, I don't know, I just kind of kept thinking of some. And I mentioned to my manager, I said, what about Greg Wattenberg? Because we wrote uh, Get Up, Get Down together. And because uh, yeah, when I went to write with him, he was just a great guy, you know, so nice, down to earth, and uh, he just makes you feel at home. And I knew that he worked with so many other great artists, and I said, what about him? And they're like, yeah, we'll talk to him. We all got on the phone one day and talked about it, and, and just the next, after the next few days, we got to work. Uh, he gave me so much good, good advice uh, just to keep, you know, you know, keep doing what I'm doing and not, you know, don't change what I'm doing because he, he really liked how, you know, I wrote, you know, he, 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 he didn't, he, he always wanted me to make the decisions with him. Like he said, do you like this? Uh, now if I said no, then he would take it out even if he liked it for the most part. Like he, he really wanted the album to represent me. I said, what about doing a live version of Home? They're like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. And I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> and uh, we just, we did it while I was on tour. And, and you know, I, I'd like to make more live albums. That'd be fun. I think all artists write about love or hate or death. And there's, I think there's a little bit of all of that on the album. And, you know, not necessarily, you know, about me, you know, having a relationship with some other person. It's, it's usually, I like to put myself in other people's positions and see how I would feel about it. That's how a lot of the songs, you know, are, you know, there's a few songs that are about, you know, me personally, but a lot of the songs are about other people. And uh, so it's just kind of, that's, that's how I kind of like to write. And But I still have a relationship going, you know, three and a half years strong, you know, hopefully many more years to go. Not right now. I mean, I'm going to be doing a lot of promoting for the album right now until the end of the year, playing a lot of shows. Um, radio and whatnot and, and you know some like little like, Christmas tree lightings and whatnot uh, so we'll be doing that and but the touring will probably start around next year February next year or something I'm curious to see how it's gonna you know pan out and see how they're gonna judge and whatnot um, for me if I would have to had to go this year there's no telling how I would have done I would have still been as nervous as I was the first time, so uh, it's, I have no idea. So well, I'm, I'm curious to see how it's gonna, you know, gonna be.